Hello friends, good morning, Brandy here. I hope you are doing well, and I would actually love to hear how you are doing in the comments below. Um, welcome to our 18th day of 30 days of wellness and connection together. So this morning I woke up with a sore neck and I sat up in bed and did a series of stretches that I quite often do. So I thought it would be interesting for you to see that series today. So this is mainly for the neck, the shoulders, and the face. We are gonna do some eye exercises as well because all of these areas are related to each other. And then of course, this area is not on its own unique, isolated from the rest of the body. I knew that when I was feeling this tension in my upper body this morning, that it was because I wasn't fully grounded. So after relieving these areas with these stretches that I'm gonna show you, I then did a grounding yoga practice, which I just taught for PCC here from my home. So, um, so when you ground your energy, then energy is moving. So when we're more constricted underneath, energy tension heat rises and we feel disconnected from the lower body and there's all this intensity up here. So relieving it, bringing more energy down is the ultimate way to resolve this. But it is nice to just start off with relieving where you're feeling the pain at first, of course. So just know that doing these stretches is not in itself going to fix it. This happened for a reason. Um, this tension I was feeling happened for a reason. I know it's related to premenstrual tension. Um, for you, it might be something else, but usually there is emotion and energy involved. And so there needs to be a slow reversal of that. And deep breathing, mindful deep breathing is what helps us resolve that. And letting a willingness to let it go, to let it move down, especially. Okay, so you could keep all that in mind. Some of these stretches are going to be quite silly, <laughs> so this might be entertaining for you. Um, so when you're ready to join me, you can come into a comfortable position. I'm just sitting here on the floor. You could be in a chair or you could even be in bed. Um, remember a few of these that you could do tomorrow when you wake up. So the first one is a simple neck stretch. So you're gonna keep both shoulders down and just bring the head to one side for a few breaths. So you're letting the belly relax. Inhaling through the nose. If you have a lot of tension, it might feel good to exhale out through the mouth. Letting the shoulder release even more down with each out breath. And then on an inhalation, you could fill up the crown of the head to reach the head back up. And then as you exhale, go to the other side. When you're holding, you're mindful of deepening the breath. It's to be this curiosity about what you're doing here. So not just movement. Okay, another deep breath if you're doing this with me. We'll come up on an inhalation, filling up the crown of the head. So I'm doing this quickly with you. You could stay longer if you wish. So the next exercise will be to bring the head to the side and then roll it forward gently. Over to the other side and up. And then roll it over to the side. 
down through the middle to the other side and up. So if you're doing this with the breath, it could be exhaling over, inhaling up, exhaling down over through center to the side we inhale up. Just do once more. And up and to the other side. And then you can bring the tips of the fingers to the tops of the shoulders. And we're going to do chicken wings. So I'm gonna scoot back a little bit so you can see this better. So chicken wings with the elbows forward to the sides, back, you're squeezing in between the shoulder blades and then down. So it's like you're drawing circles on the side walls with your elbows in one direction. And then you can go in the other direction. And then we're going to keep one hand on the shoulder and the other hand is going to come up and over to the side of the head and then gently peel the ear and shoulder away from each other. So this bottom hand is gently pulling the shoulder down. This top hand is gently pulling the side of the head and ear away. And try to inhabit that space that you're stretching with your breath. Again, feeling that you're moving the tension down with each exhalation. So you're moving it somewhere <laughs> and that is down. And then the heel of your hand can press into the crown of the head to straighten it. And then this hand will go down to the shoulder. This other one will come across, gently peel away. So nothing too abrupt here. Find your breath. So I'm gonna start going a little quicker here. Heel of the hand brings the head back up. Okay, so this next movement is retracting the neck. So quite often when we are in front of the computer, <laughs> which most of us are doing, we have the chin forward like this, we have the shoulders scooped forward. And so we want to be doing the opposite if this is the reason that you have neck tension. So pulling the chin back and squeezing in between the shoulder blades. And we're going to do this with the hands behind the head. And so you're retracting the chin back, bringing more weight into the hands. And deep breathing as you're doing this. And letting go with your exhalations. And even with your in-breath, you're feeling that deep in the body. So tension from the neck is moving down. Okay, we'll release that. And then this next, so we're going to start getting into the face and this next movement um, is around the mouth. So we're going to bring the mouth into an O shape like you're really surprised and let the muscles around the jaw stretch. So like this. Oh my God. <laughs> and then smile as big as you can, retracting the chin at the same time. And then again, oh. And smiling. Get that into the neck. You're using these muscles. And then, oh. Smile. So this is good to do the O with the in-breath. 
Smile as you exhale. Okay. <laughs> so this next one, you're gonna open the mouth and then move your lower jaw from side to side. See if you could feel it moving way back toward the ears. Then maybe keep it to one side for a few breaths. And then to the other side for a few breaths. And back through center. And this next one, we're gonna do our eye exercises. So I'll show you what it looks like with the eyes open, but you're actually gonna be doing the exercises with the eyes closed. Hey, Alicia. <laughs> yeah, crunching definitely happens with that. So I just did a whole series of exercises. I'm doing 10. So this next one is eye exercises. You're going to go up and down and then side to side Add a diagonal with both diagonals and then rolling in circles in one direction, rolling in circles in the other direction. So close your eyes and this will be a nice massage for the eyes. So we can go up and down first. These are actually yoga exercises in the Shivananda style. So up and down, up and down. Keep your breath moving and then side to side with the eyes. Note what you see because sometimes interesting images pop up that you should pay attention to. And then we'll go up to one side with your gaze and down to the other side in a diagonal back and forth. Try to keep the back of the neck filled out here. Usually when we're too directed forward with our eyes, that's when our head and chin jut forward. Okay, let's do the diagonal to the other side with the eyes. Up and down, up and down. And then go ahead and roll them in one direction. and in the other direction. Okay, and then gently open your eyes. You might actually feel like you want to keep them closed, like you're ready for meditation after doing that. Um, so let's do lion's breath next. Again, I'm moving really quickly through all of these because I want to keep the video short, but you can do these for much longer on your own. So lion's breath is another one for the jaw, but the eyes are directed in toward each other and up toward the eyebrows. So you're trying to look at this third eye space in between the eyebrows, and you're sticking out the tongue as you exhale at the same time. So it looks like this. Okay, we'll do this a few times. Just one more. Okay. And then we'll interlace the fingers at your low back. Keep your hands pressed into your low back and pull your elbows and shoulders away. So you're squeezing in between the shoulder blades. Let's bring the chin down, retracting it back opening up the chest. If you have more space to stretch, you can bring your elbows towards straight, pulling your hands behind you. Keep the chin retracting and then bring the head up, letting the back of the head rest on the trapezius muscles, 
at the top of the upper back. And then we can inhale the head back up. See if you can bring the chin down as you continue to stretch. And then slowly lower. You can roll the shoulders, repeating anything else we just did as you wish. So you can pick and pull what you need from this list. I hope this is really helpful for you. Remember, there's usually a cause to this tension, so we always want to be looking for that. So I will see you again tomorrow, friends. Take care.